guys, it's Ayumi Teresa and I'm coming at you with a new video. So today um, I'm going to do a video about Japanese versus American trends that I love and hate. I'm going to start with trends that I love in both countries and then I'm gonna go in with trends that I do not like so much um, in both countries. A trend that I love from the US is definitely the contour and highlighting trend. I know like those of you who live maybe in a Western country are like just so like such an everyday thing that you would do, but it's actually not as trendy here in Japan. A lot of people here aren't as familiar with it yet, but I love this trend because, I mean, why not contour and highlight? Like it snatches your face, you know, the highlight when it hits the light, it looks just gorgeous and amazing. And I honestly cannot live without doing this every single day and I, Thank you Kim Kardashian or Mario or whoever invented this trend because I am living for it. A trend I love from Japan is, okay, so this is going to sound really weird, but if you have ever visited Japan or if you have ever lived here, you would understand. If you come here like anytime during like the fall or winter season or anytime it's not too hot, you will automatically see so many people wearing surgical masks in public. Now, this isn't necessarily a trend, but it is almost like a habit here. Um, so people here wear surgical masks for two reasons. Uh, one is because they do not want to get sick. They do not want to get anyone's, you know, bacteria or sickness or coughs or anything. Like they want to stay healthy and to make sure they don't get any germs in public, they would wear surgical masks. And the second reason is obviously if you're sick um, and you have a cough or you're just not feeling well, you do not want to give your germs to anybody else. So when you're on the train or when you're in public spaces, it's kind of like an etiquette and like a manner to wear a mask here. Like if you're coughing, you know, out your lungs in public and if you're not wearing a mask, then people here are gonna look at you. They're gonna give you the death stare, you know, like, okay, why is this person not wearing a surgical mask? That's so rude to not, you know, to be coughing in public and knowing they're sick and not wearing a mask. So it's actually like one of the really big normal things people do here. And everybody who visits here for the first time, they're asking me like, what is up with the surgical masks? You know, I'm like, trust me like it's normal and like if that person is living here they end up wearing them in like the next two three months like i know so many people who thought it was like this habit was so weird but like two three months later they're like you know they can't live without wearing the surgical mask because it really makes you feel like you're you're you know you're safe from the germs you know what i mean and i i wear it like all the time like not really in the sticky summertime but um, usually when it's like blue season or when it starts to get like a little bit chilly and easier to really catch something I really always make sure I wear a surgical mask in public because I don't want to get any germs and my job like you know models like we don't get to choose like you know to to not go to a photo shoot like to a job because we're feeling under the weather it's like an obligation like once you're casted to do this job you have no other choice but to go you know on set so it's really my responsibility to take care of my own body so the second american trend that i love is baking i know this is kind of like another makeup like contour highlight like related trend but okay so baking like for those of you who don't know what baking is it's a very common uh, makeup trend in the u.s where you take powder like uh, a loose powder and you put it like on top of concealer or any like liquid foundations or contour to kind of really set all your makeup in place and for me i never really tried this trend until recently I mean, I was very well familiar of this trend. I just haven't tried it because I felt that it would really make my foundation or my skin super matte and I don't like a matte finish, but I tried it and it worked very, very well for me. Like I was sweating, but my makeup like 
did not come off at all and I was very impressed um, and I mean you can always add highlight to add like an extra dewy skin effect if you have never tried this like if you live in Japan you've never heard of this never tried it like it's a very good like makeup hack to use in the summer all right so the second Japanese trend that I love are short bangs okay so I know some of you are gonna be like oh that's not a Japanese trend that's like a worldwide trend but for me personally I think it's a Japanese thing or like an Asian thing at least like I know a lot of supermodels who have like really short bangs that go above the uh, brow line so in Japanese we call it um, onzamayu bangu so onza mayu is literally like on the and mayu means brow so basically it means like higher than the brow i just think like that hairstyle is so cute like it's so cute but also it's very like high fashion as well and it makes it super like it makes your hairstyle look like really trendy and like high fashion and really cool so i i just really like that hairstyle the third and last favorite american trend that i love the really thin and cool sunglasses i see so many like american influencers wearing like the really thin sunglasses and i just think it looks super swaggy and cool like you just add the sunglasses it's like bang you know what i mean so i really love that trend i think it's super cool i have been looking for those types of sunglasses for a very long time but i don't want to spend so much money on it because i know it's just a trend and like i don't want to spend so much money on you know a a piece of like an item that I know is not gonna be trending like in the next one or two years so I've been looking for you know a pair of sunglasses that are affordable but still look super cool and not doesn't look too cheap and I've been having a hard time looking for ones that are you know that so I haven't been really like rocking the trend personally but I would love to I would love to wear them so now moving on to the my not so favorite trends <laughs> Okay, one of my really, really least favorite American trends are like the big Instagram brows, like, you know, like the tattooed on looking brows, like they just, I don't find them attractive at all. Like, sure, the big brow trend, like I'm all for like, you know, big brows and like having, you know, instead of thin brows, but like it makes the person look really mean. It's so obvious that you drew it on like it's so obvious that's not your natural brows a lot of japanese girls go for the more like natural brows and they're a little bit more straight they're not very arched as much um but i feel like it's such an american thing the whole like arched upside down check mark like stamped on in your face insta brows like I'm sorry, but that is not my cup of tea. <laughs> One of the top Japanese trends that I dislike the most are big colored contact lenses. So I've talked about this in another video, but like it's such a thing to wear colored contact lenses that are like so much bigger than your eye pupil here. And I mean, allegedly it's supposed to make your eyes look bigger and I guess it kind of does but it just it just looks so fake and like googly like it just looks so fake and it makes your eyes look really googly and it's just really obvious that that person is wearing colored contacts and a lot of times they don't even wear like them colored it's just like dark brown or black but they're they, it's just like literally the sole purpose of them wearing these colored contact lenses are like to make your eyes look bigger and it's supposed to make you look very cutesy like kawaii like a japanese girl but I just like for me like I don't see cute when I see it I see like big eye pupils that are popping out and it just doesn't look natural like I'm all for colored contacts like I like to have fun like wearing colored contacts sometimes to enhance my makeup look but I just don't like the oversized ones yeah okay so the second American trend that I hate oh my god okay is the whole you know the whole like biker shorts trend it's like a short legging you know the whole kim kardashian like thing like i do not find that attractive at all like i i mean i i mean i guess like the purpose is to make your butt look bigger or like to really like accentuate your butt or whatever i just think it's really ugly um 
yeah, I don't, yeah. I actually don't find leggings attractive either. I mean, you know, the, the workout leggings, like, I wear them all the time, but like, you know, just the leggings just as like a fashion, like the type that people wear under dresses and stuff, like I'm just not, yeah, I'm just, yeah, I just, I just think they're so ugly, <laughs> I'm sorry. And the second Japanese trend that I hate, I hate this trend. Um, so in Japan and a lot of East Asian countries, um, lighter skin is considered more attractive. A lot of times when Japanese girls take photos or selfies, they use this app that makes their skin look lighter and it really gives like this washed off effect. Like it's like a filter that really makes your skin look a lot lighter than it really is. It like, you know, erases all your dark spots or whatever. And it also like washes out like the whole like scenery and it gives like a very like milky pastel -y, like washed out effect and Japanese people refer it to the moreru camera which means like moreru means like oh this is such a Japanese word I can't find an English word for this but like moreru means like to be able to look better than you really are on camera so it's a lot of like, you know, the whole Instagram versus reality type of thing. Like it's that in Japanese and one word is moreru. So they call it like the moreru camera, the camera that makes you look better than real life. And they and whenever I'm taking a selfie with a friend and they're like, oh, let's, you know, let's take a selfie together. I'm like, sure, let's take it. And I always take photos with the regular camera. Like a re I do not use like a filtered app. I use my regular camera. Of course, like I go into Facetune or Visco cam and add like a little knickknack to that. But like, who doesn't, you know? They'd be like, oh, no, no, no. Let's use the moreru camera. And I'm like, okay. And like, it all of a sudden just like makes me look like a different person, like super white out and like, just like washed it out and I just don't think I look better with that filter personally. I mean, I like my skin tone. I don't want to look lighter than I am. Like I would rather, like this is a preference, but I just, yeah, I don't, I don't like that trend. I, I don't. That was it for today's video guys. Um, I hope it was interesting and you enjoyed watching it. Um, please let me know in the comments below if you agree or disagree to any of the trends that I liked or disliked. I think it's a very interesting um, topic. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!